We are back with a Fox News alert today. A potential smoking gun report could prove what President Trump has claimed all along, that the previous administration was spying on both him and his transition team using the legitimate surveillance of foreign targets as a cover. Democrats continue to deny that the Obama administration targeted the Trump team, including the unmasking of his key advisors and intelligence reports. So the question is, if the Obama administration didn't do it, well, then who did? Marie Harf is the former State Department spokeswoman under the Obama administration and a Fox News contributor. Good morning, Marie. Good Thanks morning. for being with us. I'm happy to be here. Well, great. So what do you think happened here? Do you, do you agree with this? Well, I listened very closely to what Devin Nunez said this week. I think we all have. Mm -hmm. And what he said, he made very clear that if there was any any members of Team Trump picked up that it was incidental coverage, which, as all of us have now learned uh, in the intelligence world, means they weren't the target of surveillance. That a foreigner who is a legitimate target of surveillance was picked up, and Team Trump may have been incidentally picked up. That's what Devin Nunez said, and that happens all the time with American citizens. But what doesn't happen all the time is the unmasking of who yeah. those people are and then the dissemination of those names across right. the intelligence so community. That, if right. that is found to be part of what evidence he has, that's a pretty damning thing. So that's the crux of the question here, and I don't think Devin Nunez gave us a lot of answers to that. He just put a lot of questions on the table. Uh, we heard Mike Rogers, the head of the NSA, earlier this week testify that only a very small number of people at the NSA can actually, quote, unmask someone. And most of those are career officials who I, I don't want to jump to conclusions that career intelligence officials that you or I had worked with were acting in a partisan way. I don't think we should jump there before we have the facts. Well, that's well, where evidence so, will lead. It could lead well, us, it, though. It could, <laughs> but it hasn't yet. So the, the question is, were people unmasked? And sometimes they are and sometimes they aren't. And then what Devin Nunez seems to be saying or trying to indicate is that someone one did something politically with that information that they thought was partisan. Again, there's no evidence to back this up. He's put a lot of questions on the table. This is exactly what his committee should be investigating. But by doing this how he did this week, I think that's going to make his job a lot harder. There are some other questions, too. Who did the unmasking? Who is responsible for this? Jay Sekulow from um, the American Center for Law and Justice was on with Sean Hannity last night. And he said that, that President Obama needs to own this. This is, this is on him because it happened between November and January. <laughs> Listen to this. You know what I think we've got here, Sean? I think we've got a constitutional crisis of James Comey's making. The fact is, and this is clear, they were the administration in power. It doesn't so answer. So this surveillance, also, which we now know is going on, they're responsible. Period. It you want to get to the answer in this question? Subpoena a couple of people, including the pres former president of the United States. Do you think the, pres the former president, President Obama, should be subpoenaed? I, I don't. And I think we need to go back to the facts that we know and what we don't know. Mike Rogers, the head of the NSA, who's widely respected in the intelligence world, made clear in testimony this week that only a, about 20 people, he said, have the ability to unmask names at the NSA. And most of those, I would guess a, a large majority, are career intelligence professionals who've worked for Democrats But that doesn't and mean it didn't happen. I mean, the vast majority means all you need is one. But it also doesn't mean... We have seen no evidence, and it doesn't mean, and I don't think we should assume that someone at the NSA was acting No, 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 no one's assuming, but what we're hearing from Devin well, when Nunes... when you say there may be a smoking gun, issue, it sounds no, like we're sort of assuming. There could be, though, according, what to, Devin and according, has, has according to... Done. According to James Comey, remember when, when he was asked by Trey Gowdy, who could have done this? Could Ben Rhodes have done this, former White House advisor under Obama? Could Susan Rice have done this? Could Brennan have done it, C former CIA under President Obama? Could Sally Yates have done it? Could Loretta... Could Loretta Lynch do it? And all of those were yes. All, all of those actually weren't yes. As some he said, I wasn't Which sure. Which one did he say? I, he sure, I mean, but some he said he wasn't sure. But the question he was actually asked wasn't who could unmask someone. That is something the intelligence community does. They own the information. He was asked. But could, there were directives from the White access House access to, to disseminate it. information more widely than had been done before. Could, could they, they don't control where things are disseminated necessarily. And what he was asked was who could have had access sure to it. Do. And I think and I think well we need to take a step back here. Devin Nunez put out some pretty explosive charges without any evidence to back it up. Well, he has evidence. How do you know that? He does have evidence. Well, he hasn't shown anyone the evidence sure. yet. And saying you have it doesn't make it true. I wish that it did, but it doesn't. And what he said, though, we need to keep going back to the first principles here. He did not say that anyone was collected on except for incidentally, which well, means they were not the You can do a backdoor incidental collect collection, you, I, too, though, if you want to. He, I would be but. very careful before I accuse the intelligence community of doing a backdoor incidental collection. You and I would probably both agree that the Russian Ambassador Here's the thing, that Marie, no one knows surveilled. who to trust. No one knows who to trust yeah, that's anymore. The right Thank now. you so much for being with us. <laughs> Thanks, Happy Friday. Thank Have a great you. weekend. You too. Great to okay. have you.